now we will move toward the design goals of wireless local area network so there should be some design goals or we can say design goals that can be achieved for establishing the wireless local area network such as global operation low power license free operation robust transmission technology simplified spontaneous cooperation easy to use protection of investment and safety and security so we will discuss these design goals one by one first one is global operation the global operation is nothing but wireless local area networks products should sell in all the countries so national and international frequency regulations have to be considered as we have seen that whichever the different wireless local area network that can be established for the communication that should follow the national and international regulations to establishing that local area network so whichever the wireless local area network that we are going to create or establish that should work internationally or you can see in any of the countries even though wherever it is created or made so that is nothing but the global operation should be allowed by that wireless local area network for establishing the communication the another one is low power devices communicating wire via wireless local area network are typically the wireless devices running on the battery power the lan design goal should take into this account and implement a special power saving modes and power management functions for the local area network while creating that wireless local area network as we have seen that whichever the devices which are used to establish the communication into the wireless local area network those are the battery based devices so whenever we are going to create that local area network or wireless local area network the factor of power saving mode of the different mobile devices and the power management functions take into should be taken into the consideration while creating the wireless local area network the next one is license free operation the lan operates do not want to apply for a special license to be able to use that product the equipment must operate in a license free band such as 2.4 gigahertz ism band so that is nothing but we can say whenever we are going to create the whenever we are going to create the wireless local area network so that wireless local area network should work on any license free frequency band for the communication so it should not be restricted to any particular uh, license free frequency band for the working so it should work for any of the license free frequency brand or frequency range for the operation so that is nothing but one of the design goal that should be considered the another one is robust transmission technology the robust transmission technology is nothing but we can say that compared to the wired local area network which operates or you can say which operate under difficult conditions so if the use of radio transmission may other electrical devices can interfere with them so whenever we are going to whenever we are going to whenever we are going to establish the wireless local area network so that should consider the robust transmission technology for establishing the communication so another design goal should be simplified spontaneous cooperation to be useful in a practice wireless local area network should not require complicated setup routines but should operate spontaneously after power up these lines would not be useful for supporting ad hoc meetings then another one is another design goal should be easy to use in a contrast to huge and complex wireless local area network they use they should be made easy to use for the communication they should not require complex management but rather work on plug and play basis so that is nothing but we can say whichever the wireless local area network that we are going to create that should be easy for the use the another one is protection of investment 
as we know that a lot of money has to be invested into the wired local area network the new wireless local area network should protect this investment by being interportable with existing network this means that the investment related to the establishing wireless local area network should be minimum as compared to the establishing the wired local area network and the last one is safety and security so whenever we are going to create any wireless local area network that should be consider that should consider the factor of safety and secure secure transmission into the communication so these are nothing but some of the design goals that need to be considered while creating the wireless local area network so we have seen the different design goals as global operation low power license free operation robust transmission technology simplified spontaneous cooperation easy to use protection invest uh, protection of investment safety and security of wireless local area network so the question can be asked explain design goals in detail for four marks in the university exam